everyone! So in this tutorial I will show you how to make your virtual tours VR compatible, which, spoiler alert, is as easy as placing a button within your virtual tour. That's it. But let me go step by step. For those of you who are new to this topic, VR or virtual reality is a virtual space that we create either with computer-generated images or with panoramic photography and which makes the user feel as if he was actually inside of that space. As opposed to virtual tours as we know them today, like tourist viewed experience on a website for example, VR tours are even more immersive as the user's physical movement instantly transfers onto the virtual movement within the tour, making the whole experience even more real. In order to enjoy this experience, you'll need a mobile phone with a gyroscope, which most latest phones carry, and a so-called head-mounted display or VR headset. Now that sounds much more complicated than it is. You can get VR headsets anywhere online for as little as 5 to 10 euros already, and more and more people already have one of these at home as companies use them for giveaways and marketing, etc. So that is what your audience would need to enjoy your material in VR. On your end, you want to make sure that you supply your content in an adequate VR format because I can't just watch any normal tour or video on a VR headset. That is as easy as adding a VR button after you've created your virtual tour. Therefore, you simply go to the Skin tab, click on Icon button, look for Cardboard VR and select your favorite one. Click on the canvas to place the button and that's literally all you have to do. You don't have to change any of your existing hotspots or media. Whenever your user will now click on that button, the tour's format will change from a normal virtual tour into the stereoscopic VR format. The functions and hotspots will change automatically to fit the VR mode. That means hotspots are no longer clickable but will instead be activated by staring at them. Now I do have to mention that our VR mode so far features two types of hotspots. The ones that will take you around from panorama to panorama on the one hand. And pop-up images on the other. If you wanted something similar to the info window hotspot which 3D Vista Virtual Tour Suite features in the normal mode, we advise you to design that in an external program, save it as an image and then insert it as a pop-up image hotspot. Okay, so again, the simple action of placing the VR button on your tool's skin will convert the media and hotspots into VR compatible formats. The good thing about this is that you can not only make your new tools VR compatible, but you can also go back to tools that you have created in the past and make them VR compatible simply by placing the VR button and republishing. To wrap it up, if I were to create a new virtual tour that I also want to be VR compatible, I would create it the same way I always did. Place panoramas, place your normal hotspots, place background audio, etc. And then at the very end, I would place the VR button in the skin. As usual, when selecting the button, you have its properties on the right-hand side. In this case, it might be helpful to select Visible if gyroscope available to make sure the VR button will only show on those devices that do actually have a gyroscope and therefore support VR modes. Thanks for watching.